There's been several big migrations in the United States. Uh, this was one of them. Uh, kids all over the country packed up their their guitars and got on the Greyhound bus and came out to San Francisco with a philosophy of better living through chemistry, drug, sex, and rock and roll. Sometimes I just feel so confused. Like I don't understand. I I know that I don't know much. I don't know how I ended up here. I don't know what being alone in this city is gonna feel like. I don't even know if I can take care of myself. Came out to San Francisco with a philosophy of better living through chemistry, drug, sex, and rock and roll. in high school in Virginia, a uh, sensitive little queer boy writing poetry about death. And Virginia was, well, it was 1968. My school had barely become integrated. Homosexuality meant you wore pinky rings and peroxided your bangs and worked backstage at the community theater. Pretty grim prospects from my point of view. And then I saw this photograph. It could have been Life magazine. It was some article about the hippie movement in San Francisco. And one of the photographs was this androgynous person standing on the front stairs of this old Victorian. And he I was pretty sure it was a he, was wearing a long colorful kimono and a strange little hat and carrying an umbrella. And I thought, oh my God. It's broad daylight in the middle of a big city and this person feels okay doing this, being this way, expressing this it wasn't even drag, really. Not that I knew what that was at the time. It was more like this sexual ambiguity, this very artistic expression of something that only he could claim. It didn't belong to anyone else. It was completely his. wide variety of medical problems.